We are in the middle of September. The water is still warm on the surface, between 15 and 16 degrees. The local fishermen in the area say the fish are quite shy these days. They get less than expected. That's the feedback I get from the fishermen on the pier. Whatever the reason, it doesn't affect me the same way it does for them. I have a completely different approach. I do visual fishing underwater and seeks it out. I find the fish and I'm glad I do because I want the food. There are a lot of particles in the water, especially on the surface, which I suspect comes from the strong currents in the period between high tide and low tide. I dive in the period around the change of high and low tide when the water's calm. Below six to eight meters, it opens up and visibility improves significantly. Over to the next pillar, I observe some fish below me. There are several large ones down at the bottom. A curious cod, about a kilo, swims up towards me. I await the shot. I also see some nice pollocks in the middle of the water layer. But this is not a place I want to hang around right now, so I have to make a quick decision. I pick out a decent sized pollock and take the shot. Then I continue the movement. It is always comfortable to hide behind one of the pillars, where the water is completely calm and quiet. This is my home base out here in the field. It's a nice place to gather some new energy. There was clearly a lot of life out there in the middle of the pillars, down at the bottom there. They stand in the currents in the water. I was lucky and took one of them out of there with me. A great catch. In this sequence, I have some thoughts I want to share with you. 
It is important to stay calm underwater when hunting for fish. Follow closely right after my duck dive. At that moment, I remind myself to slow down. I notice that the pace of things is moving forward a little too quickly. There are too many fast movements. All this happens in a fraction of a second underwater. A thought that hits me just below the surface. So I stop a little. I tell my body to calm down. I start by relaxing my hands, then up the shoulders and neck, then the legs and the back. Now I've gone from being a bit abrupt to becoming much more calm in a few seconds. Now I'm more in the moment and more observant of what's around me. I love spearfishing and all aspects of it. It's the whole process itself that I like. Getting out into nature and new adventures, swim in the ocean and look for underwater life. Putting in a lot of effort without knowing the outcome, all in. The excitement that follows the hunt, filleting the catch and eventually the preparation. I get a lot of joy out of spearfishing. I also get a lot of challenges and have to learn and deal with disappointments, which is actually healthy in a way. It is a highly addictive sport. It is also entirely possible to spend a lot of money on equipment and long trips if you need a place to leave your salary. Got quite a bit of fish meat out of this trip. Very happy with the catch. Now there will be many good dinners with the family. It is difficult to imagine a life without spearfishing. It is here to stay, and that's perfectly fine with me. This is not my first time spearfishing under this particular bridge. These are some photos from earlier this year, in the spring. We found the big fish and I got my personal best that day. Click on the video here to get the whole story. Thank <laughs> you.